And thousands of students across the country walked out of school this morning to protest gun violence. The nationwide movement comes exactly one month since a student walked into a Florida high school and gunned down 17 people. In Florida and in elsewhere across the U.S., students walked out for 17 minutes, one minute for each victim. Well, good morning. We're glad you're with us. I'm Russ McCaskey. And I'm Jennifer Lindgren in for Karen Border this morning. Let's get straight to Nikki Batiste. She is live at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Nikki. Hi, the students here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School really led this walk out today. They spent 17 minutes on this football field behind me exchanging hugs. They were listening to a song called Shine by Collective Soul, which they say reminds them to be strong and to be able to overcome obstacles. They then left paraded down the street to a nearby park that now serves as a home to a memorial for Parkland shooting, shooting victims. I spoke to a few of them along the way, and they said this is just a day of solidarity, a day to remember the classmates that they lost, and, and a day to continue their fight for gun reform. Russ and Jen. Nikki, what was the mood there? Was it upbeat? Was it somber? How were the kids acting? You know, it really was a mixture. At moments, it was upbeat. There were actually cheers when we came out. They were waving to the media, and some of their family members lined up with us outside the fence. And then there were moments that it was somber when the song was playing Shine. They were all very quiet. And, you know, a student said very emotional on the field, hugging each other and remembering really why we're here today, remembering the tragedy that happened here at Parkland one month ago. So it was a combination. But above all, nothing but support here from the community and teachers and locals that were out here with us standing along watching them. Russ and Jen. Yeah, Nikki, I was going to ask you, are the teachers out there with them, the school leaders walking with the students too? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, can you repeat it, Jen? Yeah, are, are, the, are the teachers and school administrators out there alongside the students walking out with them? There were some teachers and school administrators walking out with them, and some of the students said that was really important to them, that they were with them, that they came out with them, that they felt safer that way, and that they were all a part of this tragedy, and they're all a part of this fight. So we did see some administrators, but none of them left with the students as they went down to the nearby park, but definitely a feeling of total solidarity here. Russ and Jen. Real quickly, there in Parkland, is it 100% for the students walking out, or did some students actually stay in class? Some students did stay in class. It's unclear if they're opposed to the walkout, but I think some chose to stay in class. I was told by one of the students that they were told they couldn't go back to class if they walked out today, but they wouldn't be penalized in any way or, or receive any disciplinary action. So from what I can tell, mostly just support here in Parkland. Uh, Nikki, Batiste live, yeah, Nikki Batiste live for us there this morning. Thank you so Thank much you. for that report.